Hello guys, welcome to the Ajade Math class. Now today we want to solve this question given to us here. Now the first thing we need to solve is to solve this 7 to the power of 0. So that's anything is to the power of 0 is going to be 1. So here I'm having 1 plus 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 17 times 2, 5, 7 all to the power of 1 over 16. Yeah, I'm going to use an approach here and I want you to please concentrate on this. So here I'm having 1 plus 3 can be written as 4 minus 1. That is the same thing as 3. My 5 can be written as 4 plus 1. Okay? Multiply by 17 can be written as 16 plus 1. And then also 257 can be written as 256 plus 1 all to the power of 1 over 16. So, with this, I'm going to make use of a rule as rule of difference of two squares. When you have s squared minus y squared, which is the same thing as x plus y, x minus y. Now, look at these two. This is like my x minus y, x plus y, which is the same thing as difference of two squares approach. So here I'm going to have y plus. So in this case, you are only going to have s squared minus y squared, which is the same thing as saying um, 4 squared minus 1 squared. So the combination of these two gives this. So furthermore, I'm going to have multiply by 16 plus 1 multiplied by 2, 5, 6 plus 1 all to the power of 1 over 16. So here, I'm going to have 1 plus 4 squared is 16 minus 1 multiplied by 16 plus 1 multiplied by 2, 5, 6 plus 1. So, proceeding with this, the same thing is going to be used here. Here I'm having a x minus y, x plus y, which is the same thing as difference of two squares. So, using the difference of two squares here, I'm going to have 1 plus 16 squared minus 1 squared. So, multiply by 256 plus 1, 116. So, here we have 1 plus 16 squared is the same thing as 256 minus 1 squared. Multiply by 256 plus 1. So, looking at this again, this part of 2 squares works. Okay? x minus y, x plus y. So we're going to have x squared minus y squared, which is 1 plus 256 squared minus 1 squared, all to the power of 1 over 16. So here I'm going to have 1 plus, here take note of something, 256 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 8. So multiplying 2 8 times is going to give 256. So here I'm having 256 squared minus 1 all to the power of 1 over 16. This cancel out this. And finally, I'm going to have 256 which is the same as 2 to the power of 8 squared okay multiply by 1 over 16 with this 2 here 1 2 here 8 right so here i'm going to have 2 to the power of 8 multiply by 1 over 8 so also 8 here 1 
ATL1. Finally, my final answer is 2. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Please kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel. See you next time.